everybody, this is Praxis, and today I've got a bit of a short day. We're doing a social day with River right now. He's outside collecting some frogs, but his friends are going to be coming over later on. We're going to be hanging out down at the stream. But I wanted to get some stuff done today, and I have been doing a little bit of carpentry work. I did a little bit all the way up on the top floor, around the vent that's pulling the air under the slab and ejecting it right over here. I'm actually using that airflow right now to, uh, to dry some glue on this board, which is going to be the last board up at the top there. There's a little crack there, so I put some glue on, got it retained with tape, and uh, that probably should actually be dry by now anyway. What I've been working on uh, while I've been waiting for that is uh, these nailer, uh, uh, what are they called? I don't know. I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, they're little uh, metal plates that are going to go over any of the spots where wires are passing kind of close to the surface here. We've got um, uh, by uh, two by fours here, but uh, which are normally three and a half inches. These two by fours have been cut down to three inches to make this uh, partition uh, mini wall a little bit thinner. And uh, because of that, uh, we, when we're uh, running the wires through the middle, they're, they're too close to one of the surfaces. Uh, so what we're doing is we're putting these little metal plates over. So if anyone in the future ever wants to, you know, pop nails into this wall, they're going to be, you know, uh, you know, protecting the wires so you can't, you know, put a, uh, a nail through there and go through one of the wires. So, uh, in preparation for that, if I were to just take these and put them right on here, which is really, honestly, what a lot of uh, professional uh, contractors will just do, we just put these up here and kind of get the wall over it one way or the other, and oftentimes you'll see the wall, it'll bump up or bow out a little bit. I don't want to do that, so what I'm doing is I'm chiseling them out. So I've got this little area, so it's a much smoother surface. Uh, I've got a chisel here. My uh, dad just sharpened this for me. A, a sharpened chisel is really worth <laughs> worth uh, acquiring for yourself if, the, uh, if you've got a lot of uh, dull ones. It's, it's a real treat once it gets sharpened. That's going to vibrate that thing off if I start there. So what I uh, started with uh, is I took a saw and cut a little uh, light cut across there and chiseling down to it. And the key with chiseling, I think, is to do little bits. If you start really going in there, it might go in in an uncontrolled way. It goes too deep, deeper than you want. Uh, so what I usually do is just do a little bit at a time. It's helpful also if you can kind of look on the sides and see how deep your chisel is. Use that as a guide. When you are chiseling, you'll notice the chisel's got a flat side and then a uh, an angled side. You want the angled side in towards the wood, so you're kind of scooping the wood up there. Right, something like that. So I'm going to keep going at this. I, I'll take the metal plate and periodically put it in just to make sure that it actually. Uh, uh, fits in the spot and make sure it's deep enough and not rocking. This one had a high spot here so the plate was rocking a little bit. Uh, so I'm just going to get these. I already spray foamed them uh, from yesterday my when my dad was cutting the holes up there so they've already been spray foamed. Uh, and that's, uh, that's that for today. I'm really just kind of picking off like anything that I need to do before we get the inspections done. So it's kind of floating around and uh, doing all those little odds and ends. So that's it. Every little bit done is a bit done. That's it. Thanks for watching.